Govan Hill has Scotland's highest Roma population and the second highest in the UK. Marit Balog works with the Community Renewal Trust in Govan Hill and is taking part in today's event. Good morning, Marek. Good morning. Just tell us what's happening later then. Hi, so today, same as every year, we're going to be celebrating International Roma Day in Govan Hill. And I'm glad that the uh, First Minister is coming as well this year. And uh, we're going to be gathering in Govan Hill Park. And then around 11.30 today, uh, people will have some speeches. Then we're going to go to the Govan Hill Street and have a march around Govan Hill uh, with all the transparent flags, some music. And at the end of the march, uh, we will end up in the church hall where people can enjoy some Roma food, music. There will be also lots of speeches from young people. So lots of fun. So this is really a chance for you to, to show off your, your culture. Yes, this is giving us a chance to celebrate our rich culture, but at the same time point at some issues that Roma are people still facing. So what, what are those issues, Marek? I think the issues are kind of same like every other people have like from different countries when they move to the new country. But on the top of this, the uh, Roma people was discriminated and oppressed for a very long time. So we'll be trying to do, we're trying to challenge this with the, all this positive work that we are doing here in Govan Hill. And what, what kind of work are you doing in Govan Hill? So the event was put together with Romano Love and uh, the Community Renewal. And it's been mainly been organized with the uh, young people, with Roma young people, with our support. And basically, Community Renewal and Romano Lab, putting everything, doing everything together with the people. We're putting them in the heart of everything we do, so they make positive change. And for example, what Community Renewal is doing, uh, we basically make sure Roma voice is heard. We give them space for do something to take any opportunities up, uh, we building capacity, encourage them to take, to attend any any events or any groups. And we try to build a bridges between all the services that exist and also try to influence any decisions. And example from the from the influence is that we managed to get approval, approval from Glasgow City Council to install a six picnic benches in a Queen's Park and they they're just going to be announced today because today they are already in the Queen's Park. And Marek, tell me a bit about your story. How did you end up in Scotland and what were the attractions of Scotland? Okay, so I came to Scotland in 2007 by bus. And since then I'm, I'm, living, since then I'm living in Govan Hill or live in Govan Hill or just around. I'm currently in Tory Glen, but spent all of my time in Govan Hill. And I came to live I just came here to better future for my children. And do you find Scotland a welcoming place? Yeah, of course. I think all the Roma people that live here just agree. The Glasgow is full of lovely people, welcoming people, friendly people. And we just make Govan Hill and Glasgow our homes. So we are feeling very welcome here. Um, Marek, just um, briefly, if, if, if you can, how important is it for you to that the Roma community is visible in a very positive way, like like today? Ooh, that's a good question. I think every community would like to be visible in a positive way. We know what's happening before, like any, any negative stuff was going on, but mm -hmm. we always work very hard. We always very, work very hard and we don't want to make people feel like Roma people are bad or something because we are not bad, we're just same as any other people that just don't know maybe the system, how the system works in the UK, and they're just trying to settle. So we're just trying our best. Okay, well, um, I, I, I hope uh, today is, is a positive day for everybody. That's Marek Balak of the Community Renewal Trust in Govan Hill.